Akron B just jumps out to a big lead here to start this one. We'll see if we can't get the official clock caught up here. Early goings to this first point. Sky Thornsbury makes a catch. I don't think the second one hit her. That'll bring Catherine Mays back in. Big swing for the Vikings there. Throw splits the defender. Sorry, that one was off camera, but Sky Thornsbury reaches up for a catch there. All right, so Vikings right back in the big catch by Akron. That brings in Mary Mullen. Hager, the freshman, makes the throw and retreats, and Akron going to play from their back line now. Ooh, a little peekaboo throw by Thornsbury. Another catch. That's Hager with another catch there. Akron B looking for a big victory over the Vikings here. All right, methodical pace now. Both teams have slowed it down a little bit. Mason and Thornsberry right in front of the screen here. Sky with a big catch there. And Catherine catches the freshman sleeping there. That was Hager who made those catches earlier for Akron. Nice throw by Coke there. Gets throw. Thornsbury gets countered. I couldn't tell who that throw came from. I was watching the uh, throw miss Coke there. Cleveland State on their back line here. Akron B. We'll see what they dial up. Team throw at Mays, who just can't corral it there. Mullen did get countered by Mays in that scrum. And now we've got two on two, two Vikings. We got Fogel and Coke. Sweeney with a with a nice counter. Almost caught Fogel reaching, but not to be had there. So we've got Take a roll with a throw, then Sweeney with a throw that bounces. Two on two here, early goings, first half. Akron B against Cleveland State. Team throw just missed the mark. Oh, Sweeney went for a nice throw by Coke there. Sweeney tried to get low and it just hits her knee. Uh oh, oh, Figueroa got caught kind of up there. Now Coke makes two throws that miss. And Figueroa goes right at Coke, and now we've got a one on one Figueroa and Fogel. And Figueroa finishes it off. Oh, it looks like maybe there was a timeout first. All right, so there was a timeout first. I know it's hard to believe that Adam Pfeiffer called a timeout in that situation. Big brain Adam Pfeiffer there, Coach of the Year candidate. All right, he calls a timeout, so saving Fogel there. So we got Fogel and Figueroa, and they'll reset. We're underway. I'll try to get the official clock. I've got us at eight minutes left. Ooh, Fogel was looking for the drop catch. You can hear Pfeiffer saying, go get her, go get her. Oh, but she throws a catch and Cleveland State gets the point anyway.
All right, so I was way off on time there. Um, we got 521, so that point was pretty methodical. Took over half of the first half. Okay, they were doing 10-minute half. That's why. Okay, so I wasn't that far off. We'll try to get the clock down. 521 to go. We went to 10-minute halves here. CSU, big catch by Figueroa. Gets her team the first point over Akron B. Kind of went back and forth a little bit there. Mays got out early. Um, but Cleveland State hung tough. Some clutch catching there by uh, by the freshman, Jana Hager, over on the Akron side there, uh, keeping them in it. And then it gets down to a one-on-one, -on -one and Figueroa closes, excuse me, closes it out for the Vikings. We're underway, point two. Ooh, big collision there. Oh, Souvenir City. Got to plug us back in here, folks. All right. Underway, looks like team throw coming in. Mary Mullen, I think even if she secured that catch, her foot might have been out of bounds. And wow, Akron ran into a buzzsaw at this point. And suddenly there's just one... <laughs> One zip left here. And then Catherine runs and makes the catch there. So, so Cleveland State just gets that point in about 35 seconds there. Just, I don't know, man, on the run up, just Akron ran into a buzzsaw there, and Cleveland State just stepped on their throats. So, big 2 0, big 2 0 lead now for the Vikings. We'll see what the Zips dial up here. They kept that first point. It was a little more methodical. took almost five minutes. Akron hung in there with the catching. Just I think they got beat on the run-up, lost momentum, and CSU never let up uh, in that second point. So, All right, we're underway. Point three. Oh, great play by Coke to evade the throw from Mays and then throws one up into the kitchen there. Big throw by Cope takes out Figueroa, and Akron, Akron's not going to go down quietly here. Mary Mullen going to patrol the middle. Coke again, and now there's a ball's over. So Akron looking to get right back into this. Looking to cut this lead in half. 2-1 to one looks a lot better than 3-0, and they've got a great shot to come back in this one now. All right, back underway. The Zip's going to move right to left. We'll see what they dial up. Looks like they targeted Thornsbury. Four balls, nobody home. Late fifth throw. Ooh, Sweeney stays out of the way of that late late throw. Now Thornsbury comes up, swinging. Big hit on Mary Mullen. That's one of the better catchers. Then Thornsbury off screen with a catch, and then she gets tagged by Cope. Cope is having a, a heck of a point here. All right, Mays has two balls right in front of the screen here now. We'll see what she dials up. Big throw at Coke. Nobody home. Ooh. All right. Looks like Fogle went down in that scrum there, and now the Vikings all over Akron here. Fogle's going to have to look catch here. Ball's over in favor of Cleveland State that time there. Coke just couldn't. Too many balls were kind of up in no man's land there. Coke couldn't risk going for him there. So got to think catch here for Coke. If uh, they put four balls on her, unlikely that you're going to dodge them all. Vikings looking to extend their lead to 3-0. First half action here, about 3.20 to go. Oh, and the solo throw. I don't think that's what they were looking for initially, but they got bailed out a little bit. Coke just misses the catch there. And it's Cleveland State, the Vikings all over Akron B. All right. Just over three minutes to go here. First half action. We are still in our pool play here. We're on the featured court, court one. 
first ever women's nationals. Thank you for joining us. Remember, please like the page, share the post. We want to get as many eyes on this as we can. And we're off for point four. Ooh, Sky Thornsbury tries to Catherine just lights up Coke right in front of us there. Sky tried the little dipsy do there with the backhand pass uh, and missed Coke first. So Cleveland State jumps out quickly, gets a couple kills. Oh, good cross there on Fogel. And then Sky Thornsbury with another catch on the long throw. Mullen with a long throw and then a catch by Figueroa. Sorry that happened off screen a little bit. And jump in. All right, so it looks like I think I think Mullen's going to get the benefit of the balls over call after her throw was live, and that took out Thornsbury. So don't count Mary Mullen out just yet here, trying to cut into this lead. All right, Mullen's going to move right to left, working all by her lonesome here. First throw, nope. Good hit. One throw, one kill. And not to be had there, Catherine secures the catch. She stepped out. She, she was out before they were secured. All right. Refs are going to talk it out. Catherine secured the catch. All right, they're going to say it was a good catch there. Coach P.J. Antelik here for the Zips was trying to plead his case that the catch was secured, but she was out of bounds. Not to be had. The refs make that call. That's true. I will and for it, and after the refs make their call, that's all we can do. Yep. That's the right attitude. So it seems like we're going to have run over time there. That'll take us to half. So we're going to carry... We're going to carry those two minutes to halftime, and we'll have a 12-minute second half here. All right, so we'll take a quick quick break here they'll reset we are going to have we've dropped down to 10 minute halves um but that point ended with two minutes to go in the first half so we'll carry that two minutes over we'll have 12 minutes in the second half it's all vikings right now over akron b for nothing Oh, that's 
All right. Ref going to get us going again here. Second half action. CSU all over Akron B right now. 12 minute half here. We had two minutes of run over time in the first half. So we're underway. Point number five. Couple quick kills. Oh, nope. Just one. CSU continues the early onslaught here. And down goes Fogel. Jung makes it throw. Nobody home. Coke going to lead the charge here. Akron trying to crawl back into this one. Mullen and Coke up top. Sweeney with a good counter throw. Sky Thornsberry going to lead. Coming right to left for the Vikings. Quick cross throw near Jung. Two throws miss. Coke hits Figueroa. Just clips her shoulder there off screen. Down goes Jung. Nope, nobody home. Never mind. Catherine Mays with a big catch on the far side there on Coke. Jung with a throw. And here, Coach McCartney imploring his team team throw here because Jung can catch. Oh, big team throw. Cleveland State continues the onslaught here against Akron B. Goes up 5 nothing now. We will have a running clock, so that's a rule uh, league-wide, both formats here. Uh, if a team does go up 4-0, we will then institute a running clock for the remainder of gameplay. So we'll continue to let this go. Ten minutes to go, second half here. It's all Vikings. We'll see what the Zips can dial up, if they can make an adjustment here, try to get back into this game. Oh, big kill for Coke on Mays early. Oh no, they're going to say it bounced. Okay. And Mays with a big catch there. Takes out. That's Hager, sorry. Ball control for the Zips. Mullen makes a solo throw to kind of reset. Figueroa comes up, guns blazing, and does get clipped. Yeah, they're gonna say she got they're gonna say she got hit on one of those throws. Hard to tell from this angle. I didn't see the ball change direction or anything, but refs are all over it. Zip's going to move left to right. Coke leading the charge. She makes a big throw. Thornsberry with a better catch. Yeah! And the Zip's going to catch right back. So, a couple catches here for each team. Sweeney with a throw. Just misses uh, Jung there on the far side. The Zip's will work it back up. Long cross. Oh, Captain just can't quite secure that catch. Well timed counter there by the Zips there to get Mays out. Figueroa. Big hit there by Mullen. Takes out Ostrander Brown. And here come the Zips. All right, couple solo throws, no kills yet. So I believe that was Gutierrez there. 
we've gotten out before. John Rose Figueroa with a headshot. Sweeney, the last last hope in this point for the Vikings. We have a comfortable 5-0 lead, though. Ooh, Sweeney gets low and high throw there by Hinnesbach. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. So Sweeney hanging tough. At this point, she's probably thinking, we'll just bleed out this clock. we got a nice, comfortable 5-0 lead, but Akron trying to get back into this. Looks like they're going to dial up a team throw, and they do tag Sweeney there. So Akron B gets a big point there. On Cleveland State, still a running clock here. It's a four-point deficit. Just under six minutes to go, second half. We are still in our pool play. First ever women's nationals here live from Miami of Ohio. Thank you all for joining us. We're going to get started here, point number seven. A couple, couple quick kills for the Vikings. Akron did get one back on their own, getting Thornsbury out. Akron with ball control, got an early couple kills, down goes Figueroa. So Akron's got momentum now. Down five to one, looking to chip into this lead. Oh, and Mays misses the catch there. That's a big catch that brings in Thornsbury though, so three on three. Big throw, oh, big catch by Akron. All right, so Akron with a 4-2 player advantage. That brings Coke back in. Long throw, and down goes Jung. Big catch by Thornsbury, and that's going to get Figueroa back in. Long throw by Thornsbury on the right side. No count for the Vikings. They'll be content to stay on their back line here, make the zips come up and throw. We'll see what they dial up. Looks like maybe a team throw coming in the corner. Yep, they take out Sweeney. They nodded it two players each here in this seventh point. Fogel kind of almost got caught reaching on the throw from Thornsbury. Team throw gets Figueroa. Sky Thornsbury missed on the counter, so two on one. All right, so Thornsbury, the lone Viking left against a couple of zips here. Got Fogel and Hager. Thornsbury makes a big catch there. That brings in Mays. And then Thornsbury finishes it off with a kill before Mays could even get, get set on the court. So all Cleveland State here. Stick with us. Next we are going to have Akron, Akron A taking on MSUB. So uh, if you're just joining us, a uh, big upset earlier. Um, uh, MSUA took out Akron A uh, in pretty convincing fashion, 5-2 to two here. So um, overwhelmingly, I think Akron came in as the favorite. MSU sending a message saying not so fast. We're still here. Uh, still a lot of dodgeball left to be played to decide this championship today, but uh, MSU sending an early message. So we'll see if Akron exacts a little revenge against MSUB. And, uh, down goes Thornsbury on the run up here. And Coke gets taken out in the scrum. So 
Coming up on two minutes left. Second half action here. Mays makes the throw in front of Chung, and then down goes Gutierrez. So you got Sweeney, Mays, and Figueroa left for the Vikings, who hold a commanding 6 6 1 lead. Figueroa upset with herself now for not going after that catch. And down goes Figueroa on a team throw there, kind of couldn't get her foot out of the way. Sweeney with a long reset and zips a charge now. Nice dodge by Sweeney in the corner there. Mullen with a solo throw, just kind of resetting, using a little wall there to get the bounce back wide of Sweeney. Mays will throw and she's going to get a ball and retreat. Oh, went for the catch and couldn't quite corral it. Akron fired up. Another throw. Here come the zips. Good team throw, but one that got there bounced. That was Sweeney and Hager that just traded throws. Sweeney getting small in the corner there, evading three throws. Long throw. Oh, Mullen got caught reaching off screen there, and Mullen's out. Down goes Sweeney, and Afton gets another point, and that'll do it. Running clock, 10 seconds to go, 6-2, to two, CSU, it's a big win, but that's good points for Akron B there, coming in here, taking on one of the uh, one of the favorites. So up next, like I said, we got MSU B going to take on Akron A. Akron A coming in as the, the heavy favorite. Um, has, they've been upset already once today by MSU A. We'll see if MSU B can, can pile on a little bit or if uh, Akron's going to look to take out some frustration on MSU B. But stick with us. We'll be back shortly with the next game.